Professional action photography is all about capturing the feel of energy in the frame, the sense of motion and speed, and the more these values are on display, the better your chances of commissions or selling on stock sites. With professional automotive photography especially, showing the audience that the car was travelling at speed is particularly key. Of course, when capturing the image, you may well be limited to a number of factors. For example, you may be subjected to speed limits if the car is pre-production, or if weather conditions just simply don't allow for speeding. It's at these times when a little pixel polishing can go a long way, and Affinity Photo's blur filters can really save the day. Zoom blur, for example, can recreate the look of speed by blurring the frame, leaving only your subjects free of the streak lines of motion. When used right, it's an effective technique and it's actually pretty straightforward to achieve. Here's how to do it. Make sure your image is open in Affinity Photo. Because we'll want to hide some of the zoom blur pixels later in the process, we don't want to mess up any of the pixels on the background layer. So all we need to do is duplicate the background layer by heading to the top of the interface Selecting layer, scroll down and clicking either duplicate or duplicate selection. The keyboard shortcut for this is Ctrl and J or Apple and J if you're using a Mac. The new layer should appear in your layers panel and will be automatically selected ready to work on. With this layer selected, head back to the top of the interface, select the filters option, scroll down to blur, across and down to zoom blur. The first step is to select the origin of the zoom blur and to do this you just simply click where you want the zoom blur to lead into. If your image is right in the middle of the frame then just click the middle of the frame but if it's off centre think about where you want this zoom blur to be directed to. Next you can change the strength of the effect using the radius slider. Dragging the radius slider to the right will increase the effect but if you want to get a preview of how this will look you can use the split view or mirror view options to get a before and after preview. To skip back to the main view, just click on the no split view option here. Once you're happy with the level of the effect, you can execute this step by clicking apply. Now, the whole of the frame will now be covered with our zoom blur effect, but we want to reveal our subject below, so we need to hide some of the blurred pixels over the car. To do this, we add a layer mask by heading to the layers panel. Down at the bottom is the mask layer icon, which is identified by a circle within a square icon. Click on this and the mask will appear. Next, head over to the toolbar and select the brush tool. The keyboard shortcut for this is B. You can adjust the size of the brush by using the square bracket keys. And then just simply paint out the pixels to reveal the background layer below. Now this does take a bit of time and you might want to zoom in and get a better view. So we'll speed up this process just for a minute. If you make any mistakes, press X to turn the brush to white and you can paint back in the pixels. Once you're happy with your masking work, you can edit the image further. For example, you can add adjustment layers by heading up to layer, adjustment layer, and I think I'll give this a quick curves boost. Or you can simply export the file by heading up to file, scrolling down to export, and saving the file in your chosen format. There we go, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun using the zoom blur filter with your images and I'll see you next time.